Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We continue reading from the book of Psalm 147. Yesterday we looked at verse number 10 and 11 that God does not delight in the strength or in the legs of a man. He takes pleasure in those who fear him and those who take refuge in his mercy. Verse number 12 and 13, the Bible says, Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the name of the Lord. Two good things here. As we realize, as we come to the understanding that God always intervenes in our situations, we can only burst into praises. We can only praise him and not just praising, but praising, praising him as our God. The psalmist is saying, praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. We praise him as our God, for we have known, we, we know and we have tasted what he has done unto us. One of the things the psalmist highlights in verse number 13 is that he has strengthened the bars of your gates. Praise be to God. This is security. This is intervention. This is protection. The Lord has strengthened the bars of our gate. He has given us security. And security here reminds us that he offers protection upon those who take refuge in him. He offers everything that they need so long as they take refuge in him. So the psalmist says that, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. You are more secure. You are protected. So praise the Lord your God. Number two, he has blessed your children within you. This is another key thing that the psalmist is helping us to see even today. As we enjoy security, as we enjoy, you know, that protection, there is also um a great thing happening, not only to us, but even to our children. He has blessed your children within you. Today, as we praise the Lord, let us know that he extends his love, his protection, and his everything, even to our children. And for us today, it is an encouragement that we need to continue praising the Lord, waiting upon the Lord, for he has strengthened the bars of our gates, and so we are safe. Again, our children are blessed. I know to each and every parent listening to this particular text, no parent would want their children to suffer or their children to leave the opposite of this verse. Every parent desires that the Lord may bless their children. And as the psalmist says, they are blessed within us, not far away from us, just within us. And so we are witnesses of what God can do. When we talk about God blessing our children, it means that his goodness is experienced across board. His goodness goes all the way, even to those very young ones. They can still experience the goodness of the Lord. And so, Going back to verse number 10 and 11, the Lord is calling us to delight ourselves in him so that he may strengthen us, so that he may give us what we need. When he delights in us, he takes no pleasure in the legs of a man. It means that he does not depend on anybody. He is God. He has all what we need. And so delighting ourselves in him, praising him as our God, will will we, we help us experience this security, will help us experience these blessings, not only ourselves, but even our children. Praise the Lord. When we talk about children again, not only the biological children that you may be having today, all those who are under you, they are blessed. And so praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. He has strengthened the bars of our gates and he has blessed our children within us. Praise be to God. Be encouraged. 
God is in charge of our lives to secure you every time and also to continue blessing your life and even the life of your children. Be encouraged and God be with you. Have a blessed time. Shalom. Amen.